Welcome to Cray Cray Conspiracies with, well, me, Sally Krajic. The New World Order is a political conspiracy which has become pretty well known in modern times. It's seen to be a secretive elite society yielding immense power. Who leaves Atlantis off the maps? Who keeps the Martians under wraps? We do, we do. The Order allegedly conspires to take over the world with a united authoritarian government with the power to override all countries. Some predict they are experimenting with cyborg technology to create an all-powerful transhuman race. They're a group that somehow have links to everything, from the fake moon landing conspiracy to the Illuminati to mind control theories. One such conspiracy, which will be the subject of this video, is population control. It's been predicted that in order to grasp control of the entire world, the New World Order group would need to cut down the human population by almost three quarters. Conspiracy theorists believe all but two billion of us at maximum would be killed but disagree as to how this might occur. Some suggest they're engineering a virus designed to wipe us all out in a mass plague. Others claim that pro-choice abortion supporters are doing the bidding of the New World Order even if they don't know it. Yes, the New World Order has the capacity to control our minds. It's also been suggested that Obamacare was designed to poison people using vaccines. Theorists have also claimed AIDS is a lab-generated disease purely created for the purpose of population control. Some who dispute this theory use China's one-child policy as evidence to suggest a hidden power is not trying to wipe out the world's population. During the reign of Stalin, a penalty tax was imposed on childless couples. His government even awarded medals to women who bore large families. Crazy, right? But again, this doesn't really support the idea of shrinking the population. The Nazi government had a similar agenda, banning abortion, homosexuality and contraception as a means to increase the German birth rate. This theme was explored in the 2014 film Kingsman The Secret Service. Most of the world's population are forced to exterminate each other, leaving a select few on Earth in an attempt to combat global warming. I got a dinner date with greatness. Mankind is the virus and I'm the cure. Sounds like a lot of people are going to die. Do I look like I give them? If this conspiracy is true, it is assumed that important humans would be the survivors. So scientists, doctors and politicians, because God knows we can't live without our politicians. There is plenty of dangerous activity we could look at in the world today that would fit this theory. It's 2018, but for some reason, world hunger is still a pandemic. Why is this so hard to rectify? We lose thousands of troops a year globally in unnecessary conflicts, nuclear experimentation exploited beyond reason. Could the New World Order be all of this? We can't discount it as a possibility.